Hello and welcome to the video, it's me, one Ryan J. It's picking up a lot of last time where I took over the rest of Africa and Spain over there. Good chunk of the Balkans at the very least, which also some of those countries there had land around here, so went and got all that, and also just went and bought Hokkaido off of Korea basically, considering some of that land was also controlled by one of those countries. So, yeah, didn't get a lot done. In all honesty, no, I did, but it didn't really feel like it all that much. But yeah, this episode, without question, I am focusing more on Asia. Getting the Middle East basically fully under my control, and probably a good chunk of Asia, if not all of it, over here. Which should be basically just Europe for the final episode, I think. Which I still have Norway as a vassal up there, which is very nice. So, um, yeah, you're next here, so I need to start preparing for that, I guess. Could also see about possibly fighting both of these at the same time, maybe. Just give myself a bit more of a challenge, possibly. Not entirely sure, because these boars are kind of annoying with that over here. Hmm, not sure, not sure. Guess I need to first take a look to see how large their armies are. Looks like they both have basically a million each. Huh, okay. Sure. Okay. So, I am giving them a chance to survive with this ultimatum. Though they're not going to exactly have a lot left, considering this is over half their country. Kinda, I think. So, yeah. They do not accept it, of course. So, let's get straight to work on taking all of this land as quickly as I can. Okay, good first turn there. Hopefully I can get most of this stuff in the Arabian Peninsula done very quickly. So I don't have to deal with it for very long. Okay, uh, throw away currently. Quickly getting that stuff in the Arabian Peninsula done. This stuff shouldn't take too much longer either. Otherwise, it's just push north, get all that under my control, basically. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up getting them as a vassal or something afterwards. Considering all the lands that they c control up there that I don't want to be messing with currently. Because, yeah. Got this stuff here that's just completely isolated along with that there. I don't want anything to do with that land, so probably get them as vassal temporarily. Okay, so nearly two thirds of the way at this point, and I have basically finished all this stuff down here. Just need to push north until they capitulate at this point. We've only lost half a million troops so far as well, which is great. Okay. So, I took literally all the lands I could over here, they still hadn't capitulated, so got the Great Horde to just finish them all for me there. So, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and take all the lands, I guess, since, yeah. I don't have to deal with all that crap up there since they took that stuff, but yeah, I think... The Great Horde might be my next target, possibly. Though I do need to group up my army and everything still. 
I'll go ahead and send an ultimatum to these two countries to get this stuff done. And yeah, we're going to be doing problems with the this land. Line troops up on the rest of this border with the Great Horde. Go to war with them. At that point, once that war is over, I will see about sorting out my borders with Madolba over here, I guess. Yeah. Probably give the take all this stuff down here in exchange for giving them a bunch of land up here. Yeah, I guess I could do that. But yeah, I gotta get to work on all the problems building and everything at this point and landing troops up on the border. Well, I accidentally forgot to unpause the recording. But yeah, I've already started this war with the Great Horde over here, which of course refused the ultimatum I sent them. So yeah. Got all that stuff dealt with so far, already a fourth of the way done with 600,000 casualties. Uh, yeah. I think for the most part I mostly just need to take this uh, entire area here, get the caucus and the control and everything, and that should more or less be everything that I need to get them to capitulate here, I think. But yeah. U turns into the sword. I'm only a fourth away currently, so might take a while to actually get all that done. Okay, 90%. They should be capitulating soon. Ah, oh, God. Why do I have Seiko or so much of their country to get them a capitulate, though? Seriously. There we go. Finally. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, so now I need to do trade deals with Madolba here to clean up those borders. And, um, yeah, get province built done as well, and all that. So, get to work on all that stuff right now. Okay, so, that's my borders over here at this point. And I also had both of them go to war with Madolba there, because, yeah, Madolba went and took over the Ming over here. So, yeah. Hurry up, man, to get them to capitulate, and literally took everything over here, basically. So, yeah, that was very nice. Considering it's basically just that now, and that's all they really have. Which is great. But, yeah, I have prepared for this or at this point. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this ultimatum sent. I of course don't accept, no surprise there. Now to attack them. Oh, wow, I did not expect them to capitulate that quickly. I would have thought I was had to take a lot more of this. But apparently I just needed to push out a decent amount over to here. And basically get all the rest of that up there. Bam! Okay. So, in that case, um... Korea's next, I guess? Or I could go ahead and deal with the Ming and just leave them with a few provinces they have left up here for Korea to deal with. Eh, yeah, I guess I could do that. So, I'll get to work on all the province stability at this point, I guess. Okay, so, got things kind of cleaned up around here, finally. And the main won't actually accept an ultimatum for whatever reason, so, yeah. Had him go to war with Korea, just so the Korea could get that land under their control up there. Meanwhile, I will now send an ultimatum to them again. Commanding all their land down here. 
Which they still do not accept. Okay, there we go. That is the main dealt with. Good. Take all that land, and then it's just a matter of dealing with Korea. Great. Okay, so I have prepared for this war with Korea. Korea is having a lot of problems, considering the amount of rebellions that have happened and stuff. That have managed to succeed and everything, and yeah. Currently, that one there just succeeded, so literally everything up here has been completely cut off, and Korea has been struggling absolutely forever at this point at a war between against those two. Yeah, that's been going on for over 11 years now, fuck sakes. When Korea should be able to easily defeat both of them. But they've been struggling like hell for whatever reason. And considering the, that choke point there has been cut off, and all that's been separated completely, I will now go after Korea here. Are you fucking serious? They accepted that fucking ultimatum. Well, okay then. Sure. I guess I'll deal with all the fucking happiness problems that they have over here then. Myself, since I'm going to have to deal with all the rebellions in this land now. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get all this sorted out and take send ultimatums to all these other small countries around here once I'm done with this. And then I'll see how things look like up there afterwards. I guess. Okay, so uh, I got province built done, took over all those countries and everything. Korea actually managed to get all that land back after I took over their entire country with that ultimatum, even though they were struggling with this before for some reason. Yeah, I generally do not understand what's going on here, but sure. Uh, I'm probably going to send the ultimatum to Korea again to get the rest of that land, I guess. Though that's going to be very annoying to deal with right there. So, yeah. For now, at the very least, I'm just going to colonize all this crap and get all, all that filled in at this point. So, yeah, I'm going to get to work on that stuff now. Okay, so, I finish things off over there. All Korea accepted ultimatum easily of course and got all that colonized. Did trade deals over here to clean up borders considering Korea actually won that war against Novgorod. Novgorod over here. So did trade deals to get that border cleaned up. So I now have that stuff up there as well. But yeah. Next episode, absolutely going to be the last episode of this point. Probably going to start off by taking out Moldova and Nogora there and Lithuania, I think. Get those three. And then I'll possibly go after Denmark, Bohemia at that point. Though I think I may see about getting these countries to actually take each other over finally. So, yeah. Get them to take all those countries over, and then that one, I guess. Bohemia can take over of those. Yeah. I guess that's my plan for the next episode. So, yeah, that's there is the end of this video here. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye